Hello guys, CryptoGrounds here. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to access other scripts without having to initialize them or such as dragging them into your little script boxes here. And we'll be doing this by using singletons. All right, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you smash the like button and subscribe to my channel for more content and turn on the bell for future notifications and videos. Also, I just wanted to say sorry for the lack of uploads lately. I've been very busy with school and game development lately, so I've been kind of just putting YouTube at a low priority, but I'll get back into it. Anyways, just hop right into this tutorial. So here we have a, a canvas with two text objects here, and we also have a script empty game object here. Now this is where all of our scripts are going to go. Okay. So we're going to create two new empty game objects. Okay. And we'll just call this script one. Just know that this method can be used for as many scripts as possible. So we can literally do this with three scripts if you want. Okay. So now we're going to create a new script called script one, and then we'll create a new script in our script two game object called script two. So let's start with script one. Okay. So in here, we're in our empty class here. And what we're going to do is add our text object in here. So we're just going to call this text one, for example. And we also need to include the using unity engine.ui namespace. This is all we're going to do for now. So now when we run this, we're going to get a no reference until we drag in this from script one text into our text one object into here. So we're still going to have to do this, but I'm going to show you some really cool things too that you can do with this. So let's do the same thing with script two. So we're pretty much just going to copy and paste this just replace the class name with script two, which is the script name. And we're going to call this text object called text two. We can delete the top lines because we don't really need them. So here's script one and here's script two. Same thing in here. We're going to have to drag our from script two into our text two right here. Okay. So now when we run this, it should just remain as new text and new text. Nothing special should happen. So let's say I want to change what text two says in script one. Or let's just say we have a variable here and we're just going to set that in our start method. So in our public void start method, we're going to set number equal to uh, two. And in here in our public void updates, we're going to display our text to text as as two. It's going to display two. We're going to use a thing called string interpolation where we put the dollar sign and then the parentheses and curly braces inside. And then we can put our variable in here. So we're just going to put something like number colon number. So now this will display something as, like this number two. So this is what we'll see. So now if we run this, we should see our script text two show number two. Perfect. Okay. So now let's say we want to change this variable for some reason in a different script. We can't just go to script two dot number. Okay. It doesn't work that way. It's because it's not a static class. And now the problem with making static classes is that it kind of breaks with our mono behavior here and we cannot access it. We can't drag any of our text and UI stuff in here. So how do we fix that? Singletons. That's the beautiful things about singletons is that we don't have to mess with any of this. So how do we create it? Well, first off, we need to create an instance of its class. So how we do that is that we call public static script two. And we're just going to call this instance. So basically we're creating a static instance of this object of its own object. So now if we try to do script two dot instance dot number, okay, we can set text one, we can set the, te the text in script one equal to this number. However, there's going to be an issue with this and I will show you once we get there. So let's say we want our script instance number to print here. Okay. So let's get rid of this right here, this public void start. I'm just going to comment this out. Let's say we want to assign this number in our script one instead using the start method. So I'm going to set script to dot instance dot number and I'm going to set it to three this time. Okay. So now both texts should say three. However, it's not going to succeed. We're going to get a null reference error. Yeah. We're going to get a null reference error. It's because we have not assigned this instance to its own object yet. So how do we do this? Well, we do a pretty th cool thing. Basically we're assigning the instance to its own object because right now it's just saying that it's just a, an empty script too. So what we're going to do here is we're going to make a private void awake method. So we want this to call before the start method. That's what exactly what awake does. And we're going to use, make this a, an expression body using this arrow here. And we're just going to say instance equals this. <laughs> okay. So now we have to find what instance is. It should work just fine. Cool. So now if we increment this number in here, so now if we assign this, uh, if we adjust this number in here in the update method, that number plus plus, you'll see it change for both of them. Cool. Just like that. 
And another thing is that this is a very basic singleton. There's a lot of complex ways to do this, like to make sure it doesn't destroy if it's null or just there's a bunch of complex ones out there. So if you want a more complex version, which is mostly used for like instantiating um, 3D objects or stuff like that, or models or just some complex things like that, you will want to check that out on Google. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you learned something new, make sure you smash the like button, subscribe to my channel if you're new, and turn on notifications for future live streams and videos. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.